Sing, Be Joyful by Henry Purcell, edited by Hal Hopson for SAB Voices and Keyboard. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> we will be using the order of responsive prayer one, Lutheran Service Book, page 282. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. I cry to you, O Lord. In the morning my prayer comes before you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 1. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. Our devotional reading is from Day by Day We Magnify You, Daily Readings for the Entire Church Year by Martin Luther. Today, page 398. In this you rejoice, even if for now, for a little while, you have had to suffer various trials. 1 Peter chapter 1. Here the Apostle indicates how Christians fare in the world. Before God they are dearly beloved children certain of their heavenly inheritance and of blessedness. But here on earth, they are not only sad and sorrowful and forsaken, but they must suffer also many temptations from the devil and the wicked world. What is their offense? Their greatest sin is that they believe in Christ and praise and glorify the unspeakable grace that God has shown in him to all the world, namely that he alone can redeem us from sin and death and make us just and blessed. It is also that they believe that human reason cannot of its own free will, its own might and good works, prepare itself to receive the grace of God, much less merit eternal life. But when all its thoughts and deeds, however glorious and beautiful, it cannot reconcile God. Then the fire is kindled, for the world will not and cannot allow that its good opinion and piety, its saintliness and all its admirable works shall be punished and condemned as of no worth before God. So they strike and persecute and slay those who preach the word and testify to it, and they think they are rendering God a service. Therefore faith is not a dreamy thought in the heart, but all who have faith confess it and speak of what is in their heart, and for that reason trouble besets them. That is why St. Peter says, even if now for a little while you have have to suffer various trials, thus uniting faith, hope, and the Holy Cross, for the one follows from the other. When the trials of life overtake me, Lord, stand by me. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, 
And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We will be streaming again on Sunday morning from the church at 6000 West State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana at 9 a.m. for the Divine Service of Holy Communion. The Lord bless your day.